Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone shattered the 400 meter hurdles world record with a crazy 50.37 seconds, leaving even her fiercest rival, Femke Bull, trailing behind. But was it just raw speed that clinched the victory? Or is there a deeper, unexpected reason behind Sydney's unstoppable dominance? Sydney McLaughlin Leverone, Fen Kebol advanced to 400 meter hurdles finals. When we talk about dominance in track and field, we're referring to athletes who don't just win, they redefine the standard of excellence in their event. To dominate means to consistently outclass your competition, to make victory almost a foregone conclusion. Take Edwin Moses, for example. He was the epitome of dominance in the 400 meter hurdles during the late 70s and 80s. Moses didn't just win races, he won 122 consecutive finals between 1977 and 1987. Another iconic example is Yolanda Balas, who dominated the women's high jump from 1957 to 1966. Balas won 154 consecutive competitions, setting 14 world records in the process. Her dominance was so profound that she made an event as unpredictable as the high jump seem routine. These athletes didn't just participate in their sports, they defined them. Their legacies are not just about the medals they won, but about the eras they created, where they were simply unbeatable. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is carving out her own era of dominance in the 400 meter hurdles. Over the past few years, she's been untouchable, breaking the world record six times and winning gold medals at the Olympics and World Championships. Since 2019, Sydney hasn't lost a single race in the 400 meter hurdles, making her a living legend in the sport. Femke Bull, on the other hand, represents the next generation of track and field stars. Her rise has been nothing short of spectacular. In just a few years, she's gone from being a promising talent to one of the top athletes in the world. Bull has consistently improved her times breaking national records and becoming a regular on the podium at major championships. She's one of only two women, alongside Sydney, to have run the 400 meter hurdles in under 51 seconds. Her rapid ascent has made her one of Sydney's fiercest competitors, setting the stage for an epic rivalry. The 400 meter hurdles final at the Paris Olympics was one of the most anticipated events of the games and it more than lived up to the hype. From the moment the race began, it was clear that Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone was in a league of her own. She took control of the race from the start, quickly establishing a lead that she would never relinquish. By the halfway point, it was obvious that the rest of the field was racing for silver. With a time of 52.13 seconds on Tuesday, Sydney's strategy was flawless. She maintained a blistering pace throughout, using her perfected stride pattern to maintain her speed over each hurdle. As she approached the final stretch, it was clear that she wasn't just racing against the other athletes. She was racing against the clock. When she crossed the finish line in 50.37 seconds, she not only secured the gold medal, but also set a new world record, further cementing her legacy as the greatest 400 meter hurdler of all time. Femke Bull, meanwhile, put up a valiant effort but couldn't match Sydney's pace. Despite being one of the few athletes capable of running under 51 seconds in the event, Bull found herself trailing behind both Sydney and Anna Cockrell, who finished second. Bull's performance was strong, but it wasn't enough to challenge Sydney's dominance on this particular day. The race highlighted just how much of a gap there still is between Sydney and the rest of the field even among the world's best athletes. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's victory in the 400 meter hurdles wasn't just about her physical abilities, it was a showcase of her technical mastery, mental agility, and energy efficiency. Sydney's advanced stride patterns are one of the key reasons she's so dominant in the event. Unlike many hurdlers who stick to a consistent stride pattern, Sydney has developed the ability to alternate her lead legs. This might seem like a minor detail, but it's a significant advantage. By being able to switch lead legs effortlessly, Sydney can maintain her rhythm even if she encounters a hiccup during the race, like an uneven stride or a slight misstep. Her mental agility is equally impressive. Track and field, especially events like the 400 meter hurdles, demand not just physical endurance, but also sharp mental focus. Sydney's ability to stay calm under pressure 
makes split-second decisions, and execute her race strategy with precision, sets her apart from her competitors. Her exceptional coordination, highlighted by her ability to juggle or effortlessly shoot baskets, reflects her strong mind-body connection, which is crucial in a race where every millisecond counts. Sydney's victory also showcased her energy efficiency. The 400-meter hurdles is one of the most demanding events in track and field, requiring athletes to balance speed with stamina. Sydney's ability to distribute her energy efficiently throughout the race is one of the reasons she's able to maintain such a high level of performance from start to finish. She knows when to push and when to conserve energy, ensuring that she has enough left in the tank for a powerful finish. This combination of technical skill, mental sharpness, and efficient energy use makes Sydney a truly unbeatable athlete. While Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone was executing a near perfect race, Femka Bull was dealing with her own set of challenges, challenges that may have cost her a shot at gold. One of the most intriguing aspects of Femke's performance at the Paris Olympics was her participation in the 4x400M mixed relay earlier in the games. Track analysts have suggested that running a blistering split in the relay just days before the hurdles final might have taken more out of her than anyone realized. In the mixed relay, Femke ran an incredible 47.93 second split helping her team secure a gold medal. But the physical toll of that effort could have left her legs a little drained for the 400-meter hurdles final. The 400-meter hurdles is already a grueling event, and adding the demands of a high-stakes relay so close to the final might have affected her performance more than she anticipated. Then, there's the question of whether Femke's focus on team success might have come at the expense of her individual goals. Femke is known for her dedication to her country and her team, and her decision to give her all in the mixed relay was undoubtedly motivated by a desire to bring home gold for the Netherlands. But in a sport where the margins between victory and defeat are razor thin, even a slight dip in energy or focus can be the difference between gold and bronze. By prioritizing her country's success, Femke may have inadvertently sacrificed her best chance at individual glory. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone isn't just a talented athlete. She's a once-in-a-generation talent whose success is driven by her remarkable athletic IQ. This natural intelligence manifests in her ability to quickly grasp and excel in a variety of sports and activities. Whether it's on the track, in the gym, or even picking up a basketball, Sydney's adaptability and understanding of how to use her body efficiently set her apart. Her high school coach once recalled how she effortlessly sank five three-pointers in a row, despite not being a basketball player by trade. This kind of athletic versatility is a clear sign of her innate ability to process and execute physical tasks with precision, a quality that is invaluable in a sport as demanding as hurdling. Sydney's coordination and focus are other key elements of her success. These skills are evident not only on the track, but also in seemingly unrelated activities like juggling. Imagine being able to juggle multiple objects while holding a conversation. This requires a level of hand-eye coordination and mental focus that few athletes possess. This same coordination is what allows Sydney to glide over hurdles with such ease. In hurdling, timing is everything. A fraction of a second can be the difference between clearing a hurdle smoothly or stumbling. Sydney's exceptional coordination ensures that she maintains her form and speed over every hurdle, making her runs look almost effortless. But what truly makes Sydney unbeatable is the combination of her physical prowess mental agility, and natural talent. It's not just that she's fast, she's also incredibly smart in how she races. Sydney's ability to alternate her lead leg during a race, for example. Most hurdlers have a dominant leg they prefer to lead with, but Sydney can switch it up depending on the situation, allowing her to maintain her rhythm and speed no matter what. This kind of adaptability is rare, and it's one of the reasons she's been able to set world records and win Olympic gold medals with such consistency. After seeing Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone dominate the 400-meter hurdles, you might wonder what's next for Femke Bowl. Is she out for good, or can she bounce back even stronger? According to Justin Gatlin, Femke's journey is far from over. 
He believes that while this defeat might sting, it's also a chance for growth that could make her even more formidable. Femke has room to refine her stride pattern and improve her energy management, which could give her the edge she needs to challenge Sydney in future races. Their rivalry is just beginning, and with the right adjustments, Femke has the potential to not only compete with Sydney, but to push her to new heights. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.